outstanding legal honest company and some like that you just tell the guy in the song right? I'm not here they just got that number on the spread I will try out because you know the house is there and they're going to have an interest I get on the website and they disparage our competitor when I do I don't know what I'm doing but I see her it's going to put the tension between you you are saying which Right? And the kingdom of God entertains himself with the sons. Five or six hundred years. Am I going to be great for this kingdom? Or am I going to be great Just after, I believe it, the book of Zachariah Lee wrote his book just about it. And how he sold you until after the prophet Isaiah. Which one are you going to choose? Somewhere in the five or six hundred years. To establish yourself. To rest. To be lauded. 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 To be Managing your ambitions. That's the title of today's message on Local Point. It's part of a series from Pastor Michael Barnes on temptation. And you can find helpful study notes or download audio files free at focalpointradio.org. It was hard to choose right living when there's little recognition or applause, but it's the best choice to make. And that's why Focal Point's here to point the way for grateful listeners like Nancy in Pennsylvania, who writes, I recently discovered Pastor Mike on the radio and have since listened to many of his sermons. I want to thank him for not just his wisdom, but how he presents God's truth and love. I'm encouraged to listen and learn more and more from his teaching. So thank you so much. Well, like Nancy, we know you're listening because you're hungry for truth. And that's why Focal Point's committed to presenting God's word straight from the Bible. And we really owe it to all our Focal Point partners who give a monthly donation to fuel this program. You know, at one time, when you first started listening, you were actually the recipient of someone else's generosity. This value team has invested in you by making these studies and resources for you. And now, we invite you to take up the baton and share this mission too. Sign up to be a focal point partner and make it possible for listeners like Nancy to stay focused on what's truly important. Give online at focalpointradio.org or call 888 Three two zero five yep. eight eight five. Yeah, it's going to be up to Focal Point. Yeah, it's post office box 2850, Laguna Hills, California, 92654. And when you give even a one-time gift today, we'll say thanks with the book Worldliness, Resisting the Seduction of a Fallen World by C.J. Mahaney. It's a must-read survival guide for anyone living in today's deceptive culture. Request the book Worldliness online at focalpointradio.org. I'm Dave Drewy, inviting you back tomorrow when Pastor Mike Clavares continues this message Thursday on Focal Point. Today's program was produced and sponsored by Focal Point Ministries. Who do you say that I am? Author Becky Harling has set the stage for a remarkable encounter with Christ in the 8th Bible. Who do you say that I am? Becky helps me to move from knowing about Jesus to knowing him personally, guiding me through significant questions Jesus asks in the Gospel.